Okay, uh, my recent take was just damaged, destroyed because I ran out of disk space, but that's okay. Because during my presentation, I ended up realizing that there actually was a package in Ubuntu. I just didn't know what thing to install. I went back into SUSE and I found out, <laughs> so I was able to recall the name of the file. And that is Live OS Mesa 7.8.2. And then I searched for it. And these two came up, so I installed both of these. So now it's just now I'm just down to the point where I just need to figure out where these things are. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in user library. So um, just browse. List view. I already had. There it is. Now, the thing is, it's got a different name. Hmm. The question is, which one do I want to use? And is it? I'm going to guess it's going to be this one. Yes, I can highlight the names and copy that. And I go into Firefox 4. Now I've already gone into this Firefox and tested out a copy of Live OS Mesa from SUSE that's version 7.8 or something like that. At least the way they have it named. Who knows if it's a different version though. About config, I post it for WebGL. That's where I put the, the SUSE binary here in Ubuntu, and I, I tested it and it worked. So now I'm going to change that to that. Hmm. Let's restart this. Let's see if I can get the WebGL working here. So that would be a happy camper to actually give a solution that will work. So let's try web o wonder. Let's see how it goes. It might work even. That's a good sign. Unless, of course, I'm not in minefield. I, oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm in minefield, so what's the deal? That's a little odd. <laughs> that doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> now, there, I could have other live OS maces to choose from. Um, gee, uh... This one here. Let's try that. <laughs> if I can get this thing to react, okay. Minefield. About colon config and webgl blah blah blah. There we are. Let's modify this. Let's see if this makes a difference. What? Uh, no. Uh, this that other one didn't have. So what? Ay, ay, ay. OP. This one here. Ka 
copy wood. I think it's just missing 32 there. But I, okay, that is what I wanted. Okay, let's try this again. Web of Wonder. There. Let's experience it. Hopefully the colors will be right. Yes. Okay, so that's the one you want to pick. And action. Hmm. It's a little bit choppy there, isn't it? Where's my sound? No response from the menu bar. Again, like when I was in, <coughs> in OpenSUSE. have to force it to quit. wonder if it's going to react any better. Press play. See, nothing really a right home about that. <laughs> You know, in fact, I you know it's really odd about this. I had a better. And this may be an old version of the Mesa libraries. They haven't. They're not using. You know, this is stable, right? You know, from Debian stable. We're not using bleeding edge libraries, but truth is, something like Mesa library. What harm can you do by going to a newer version? You know, I may I may just be better off putting the. 32-bit library from SUSE. In fact, you know what? Here, I'm going to stop this if I can. Go back, and I'm going to go back into about config, and guess what? That library doesn't have to be in user library to work for this. No, it doesn't. About. Back to about config, or from WebGL, and we'll modify this. And what I'm going to modify this for is the live of Mesa in my home directory, version number seven here. There it is, right there. Properties, yes, I need to copy that. And I'm going to say it's in home. James. East. Ah. And I'm going to restart and we'll see how that thing responds. Won't we? Yes, we will. So we'll see how the stable version of OS Mesa reacts in comparison to the <coughs> bleeding edge 782. <coughs> to kind of recover. The menu bar is the menu bar still isn't responsive. Wow, but I can close it on two tries. Okay, I'll try it again. I am in minefield, yes I am. Okay. Yeah, before we get into this, what software packages did I install? Uh, 
Mesa off-screen rendering extension and the main off-screen rendering extension, the non-developer version, whatever that means. I really don't know what it's supposed to mean. If I spook here. I don't know, if maybe the music is making it... You see it? See how it looks a little more responsive now? So it's, just, it's so choppy. Yeah. Uh, so it works. Uh, there it is. So that's all you need to do, uh, as far as I know. Uh, that one thing. So I guess I'm, I'm done. It's not, not really... Again, I'm having the same... I don't know if I'm having the same kind of problems I was with audio with, um, with Pogo. You know, I, I just don't know. Maybe I don't have the proprietary drivers for the audio here. Um, could be a lot of different things. So I'm gonna close this. Now I gotta force it to quit. And I'm gonna upload this and I'm done.